device supervision is a feature designed for large companies. And with this, they control some settings that are usually not available to users, and they can also centrally control this on multiple devices. For example, they can filter web traffic from all applications. And this is really important because system administrators, they know much, much better which websites and contents are trustworthy. When a company filters your TLS traffic and even decrypts it, that's absolutely not worrisome. It's called an enterprise feature. Another interesting feature supported on supervised devices is delaying the iOS updates by up to 90 days. And this is a really important feature because Apple changes APIs, especially in major updates, so programs break. And small startups, they can keep up with all the changes, but an enterprise company who has their custom special application that is only company internal, they really need to wait and approve all the updates. So it takes a bit longer and they are allowed some extra time. And once they are done with the update, they can also configure that the update of their app is now pushed to the user devices. So now you might be asking, why is this enterprise stuff even important for reverse engineering? Well, those features, they are really, really useful to us. They allow us to intercept web traffic for reverse engineering applications, but they also allow us to wait for a jailbreak a bit longer and not just update immediately. So it really helps you just with the overall research device setup. The safest way to enable and control supervision is using the Apple Configurator. You can download it from the official App Store on a macOS device. It will work even though it has very, very bad ratings. And it's free and it doesn't contain malware. First of all, I will show you all the features available on a device that is already supervised. To change the supervision on an iPhone, I have to create a supervision profile. This works via File, New Profile. Now you can see a lot of settings. For example, I can set a global HTTP proxy. You can see that the setting requires supervision. And inside here, I can set a proxy like burp without needing any additional forwarding setup. More interesting settings are the DNS proxy. And you can already install certificates such that machine in the middle will just work with the HTTP proxy. When you apply proxy settings like this, they apply to all applications. And this is really great for app testing. The settings below are a little bit less interesting, but nice for an enterprise. For example, it's possible to pre-configure contacts, calendars, mail, and much more. The software update delay is a bit hidden. Go back to the first settings called restrictions. Click configure, then scroll all the way down. And the last setting is called defer updates for blank days. You can set this for up to 90 days. I'm not saving the profile here, but you could now apply it to a supervised device. When you select a supervised phone, you can apply profiles and blueprints with settings. I'm not doing this here because my phone already has the setting. After installation of a delay profile, you will see it in settings, general, profile, and then the name of your profile. When checking the restrictions, delayed updates are enforced and set to 90 days. Installing a profile with an HTTP proxy works similarly. Afterwards, when setting up Burp, ensure you have a proxy listener listening on all interfaces or the interface with the IP address you specified, such that the iPhone can connect to you. And now the important part, how to activate supervision. On a non-jailbroken phone, activating supervision will erase all your data. So ideally do this on a new phone or a research phone. Click on Prepare, skip the Enterprise options, click Next. Do not enroll in the MDM server. Set an organization, which I already set up here as CMO. Set options you want to pre-configure. Then you click on Prepare, and that's what I'm not going to do here. Otherwise, I would lose all data on this phone. This makes sense because supervision is quite intrusive and shouldn't be installed on a phone that already has various apps and accounts set up, since the attacker could abuse it to sniff credentials. If you have a jailbroken phone, you can activate supervision without losing your data. You go to the file var containers shared system group system group dot com dot apple dot configuration profiles library configuration profiles cloud configuration details dot plist and you can toggle a supervised flag to true. That's it. Without losing any data, you can now install profiles that require supervision. 
This supervision trick will help you a lot with app testing and jailbreaking. And even though it's not low level reverse engineering, it will help you with the overall research device setup.